You remember a couple parts ago when I mentioned how Godon kind of gave off this feeling of Sheikah technology from Breath of the Wild? Well, look at the tower itself. Look at those symbols on it. It's kind of resembles like circuits on a motherboard somehow. And in a way, it kind of represents just the dots on uh, a Sheikah symbol in that game. So, do you think that the Sheikah had some part to do with building this tower? Are they more related to the gods than we originally thought? And the mysteries of the Zeldaverse just keep piling up, don't they? Hey, I'm Paisanos! This is Toon Gamer 23 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker! So, in the last part, we descended beneath the waves to Hyrule Castle. That's right, this whole time, the Great Sea is just Hyrule flooded. That's pretty dark when you think about it. But anyway, we have done it. We have gotten the Master Sword, the legendary Blade of Evil's Bane. There is nothing that, can, that is holding us back from returning to the Forsaken Fortress, storming it, and, and rescuing Ariel. At long last, Scooty, aka Toon Link, is finally going to rescue his sister. But first things first, we've got us a couple of pit stops to make. Okay, so... Oh, wrong button. Okay, so off screen, I went back inside the tower and I took a picture of a red bubble, the floating red skull. And, well, I pretty much filled it out, so... So yeah, in this version, it's only three pictures. Uh, it can only hold up to three pictures. So, what do you say we head back to Forest Haven first and drop these off? Because there's a couple of juicy one, opp one opportunity only photos coming up. And we want to make sure that the picture boxes has those pictures available. Okay, I'll be right back. Okie dokie, so we finally deposited our photos to Carlo, so... Geronimo! Yep. Okay! Oh, Scooty kept his legs straight when he hit the water. Okay, so one more detour is this little island that we forgot to mark on our map. It'll just be uh, a split second, but let's go ahead and set the wind in the proper direction. It's gonna be a long sail from here all the way to the Forsaken Fortress, so... Alright. <laughs> I kinda like it when the camera just doesn't even move and Scooty's just... Literally the back, back to the wind. Alright, so... Where are we heading? In the wrong direction. Alright, there he is. Right as dawn's approaching. Okay. Get some num nums ready. Okay, so. Enjoy, buddy. Okay, so. We forgot to chart off this island earlier when we got our bomb upgrade, so. Alright, so. Add another quadrant to to this barren sea chart. Okay, Eastern Fairy Island. With a sideways facing hearts. Where it is, they hold an auction every night over there on Windfall Island. Every night the people gather in the Hall of Wealth to amuse themselves by spending a little money. Ah, the rich. No comment about that one, just... Eat the rich, is what I say. Eat the rich! Auctions may be a race to see who can bid the highest, but I'll let you in on a little secret. The key to winning an auction is to be both patient and bold. I'm serious, Fry. From what I hear, they get some great things up on that auction block too, like heart-shaped stuff, among other things. Maybe that's just a rumor. You should try it out, Small Fry. You might just like it. Yeah, just don't get too addicted to burning up your rupees, though. 
But then again, we can carry up to a thousand of them. And later on, we'll be able to carry 5,000 rupees. How about that, huh? Alright, nothing stands between us and the Forsaken Fortress now. Alright, so we're just, yeah, just basically glazing past Windfall on our way. So yeah, you might remember that, uh, that old guy that kept stalking us and the rich dudes, they both, both of their daughters were captured too, so we'll, we'll be saving both Ariel and their daughters as well. That's right, the spirit of Ariel is with us as long as there's seagulls flying about. Whoa, what? Oh, it happened again! What is up with that? Nothing really happens, it just... It's just every single time you approach Windfall at certain cliff place. I don't know why. Whatever, we're not... I'm not interested in Windfall right now, so... But we'll be back. There's a butt buttload of side quests to do on that island later on. Okay, so... On the way, we're gonna drop by here. Not to get sucked into that cyclone, that's the last thing we want. For now. Well... Technically, we could, honestly, because we got the bow and arrow right now, but I think we'll save it for for after we've stormed the fortress. We just want a clue from Mr. Fishlips right here. Alright. Alright, just another quadrant to help us out. Okay, Mother and Child Isles. This place will become important shortly after... After a few parts. They say that inside the ring of rock that makes up the perimeter of that island, there lives an incredibly beautiful fairy. But the thing is, nobody's ever met her. Supposedly, the only way you'll ever meet her is to take a ride on a whirlwind and drop inside that rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't sound easy, Fry. He says as there's a giant cyclone swirling and twirling in the background. Oh, why that? But uh, whatever. I can either have a choice of going to the fortress or taking on the cyclone. We'll just go to the fortress. We've waited this long. Ooh. Um. Something, something cool that... Oh, shoot. Something cool I want to show you. If you actually sit at the daytime right as you sail into the Forsaken Fortress, well, you'll see. Okay, so I just set it to nighttime. And it's still right behind me. Okay. Okay, so I'm passing once again. Alright. Okay, so we got it set to broad daylight when we're about to cross the border into the Forsaken Fortress. That's right, is that precarious looking fortress with the iconic ship on top? Can only, one can only imagine how it got up there. Whoa, and that's not all! Explosive barrels! Yeah. Cannon boats. So yes, this is obviously uh, this is obviously a uh, very this is obviously a very weapon-heavy place. Of course, it's supposed to be. I really have to tell them to hurry up and okay, check it out. Uh, just any minute now. There it is. And... 
Titans, instant nighttime, baby. That's right. This is the part of the world where the sun don't shine, ever. And the searchlights are back up, the place is once again fortified, this is it! We're going in. No need for catapult barrels this time. This time we got a f***ing cannon with us. And apparently so do they! Okay! Yeah, cannon up, baby! Gonna go f***ing commando on this mother. Okay. Okay, you say yes! Bomb the barricades down! Okay, so. Okay, might as well just go on in. Just... Just sneak around, just get those cans from afar. Alright. No need for the others, just storm the fortress. This is it. We're in- What? Whoa! What was that? King did a complete 180 there. Ganon has likely been made aware of our little incursion already. Gee, what makes you think that? All we did was just blow his door down. No big deal. But you have the Master Sword. That sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands, none can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. I won't. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. Your sister is being held at the top of the central tower. I hope you have not forgotten how to get there. <laughs> Sorry for slicing you in the face. Eh, he's made of wood. He'll, he'll shake it off. Right. So yes, there are no barrels this time. Why would you? We've got our sword, we've got our gusto, we've got bombs! We, sorry, we've got bombs! And an arrow, a boomerang, a grappling hook, the whole shebang. We got tons of gadgets. We are ready this time. Okay, so. And there's a little added bonus, if you get caught by the searchlights, you won't get thrown in the slammer. Normally you would think that's a good thing, but something seems a bit off. Okay, so, uh... Meh, it'll, it'll probably wait. Uh, I was gonna call Tingle again, but there's something else we can deal with first, but, uh... Man, let's just go ahead and call the little weirdo. There's no use, uh, keeping... There's no use me hogging up all the action. We're gonna storm this base, son! Tingle style! Well, maybe not Tingle style, but you get the, you get the idea. Alright! He's ready! Ready to rock and roll! Or just float and roll. It's... He's a... His specialty is a balloon, not... Not rocking and rolling, so... Okay, so... Tingle is in for uh, quite a shock when he finds out where we are now. Hello! Do you... Come in, do you read me? Mr. Fetty is in the Forsaken Fortress, huh? That's right, we're in the Forsaken Fortress and we're ready to kick some ass! With the Master Sword in our- in our t in our possession. And fittingly, some skulls have been littered across the- the field this time. Does that mean that there have been un unlucky souls since- since we came here? Alright, so. Apparently we can't go up the stairs just yet, so that leaves our only option is the door, but it looks to be barricaded. But we're gonna inspect it closely anyway. Beware though, there's somebody watching you! An evil spirit! Reincarnated evil spirit! Phantom Ganon! Okay, this is it!
another challenging round of volleyball. Just like old times in Ocarina of Time. Okay, so yeah, this this is Phantom Ganon, and which looks a whole lot more badass than than Ocarina of Time. Honestly, it was just like a just a downgraded version of Ganon. But this one is in full-fledged black. He's got a cape. He's a regular. Wow! Yes! And do not let his sword strike you. You will lose two whole hearts if it if it lands. Alright. Scooty, your foe may be fierce and fearsome, but do not be afraid. Forged deep within the steel of your master sword is the power to repel evil. Even as his ball of fell magic bears down on you, stand your ground and knock it back with your sword. I am sure you will have a shot at victory. Alright. Volleyball time. Alright. Ow! First go. Ooh, wait a minute. Photo op time. Alright, so yeah, before we get in too deep into battle, let's take a little picture of, uh... Okay. Oh! Uh, dang it, why do I have to be so fickle with my shots? With my camera shots? No, that's... that won't do. We won't... I won't take a picture of a, of a barricaded door. Okay, so, like I said in my own fan-made boss description, I don't really think this is the same Phantom Ganon from the... from Ocarina of Time. It doesn't look like it, so... Okay, well... Even... even if this picture isn't perfect, still, I'm pretty sure Carlo will still take it. Okay. Alright! Love the boss music for this mini boss, honestly. Yeah, I know this is a mini boss, so basically he shouldn't have a boss description, but I still can't have fun making some up. Yeah. Alright. It's so cool in the middle of the night with all the searchlights. Really sweat the details. Keep swinging! All right. Okay, so he's down, not out. Do whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Hey! All right. Knock him back. Yes, he's down. Be gone, vile demon from beyond, or vile phantom from beyond. But we haven't seen the last of him. He'll be back with a vengeance. But for now, we have gained fortress. We've gained access to the fortress. And a very ornate chest. With a very valuable item inside. What could you be? Alright, gimme. You know what time it is? It's hammer time, baby! You got the skull hammer! Said to use with YZ or X, blah blah blah. This mighty hammer can break things and pound obstacles into the ground. Some enemies even get stunned by the shockwaves it causes when you pound the ground with it. Alright. Miss Avery, the Tinker Tuna is up! He's picking up Ariel's voice! Ariel, we got on! Okay, so yeah, I gotta deal with these little imps right now. Did you tell us this one? Oh, shoot him. What's that one? So, so difficult to concentrate on both screens at once. Okay, so yeah, don't you think, dare think that that these searchlights don't pose a threat. I mean, they track miniblins and uh, other monsters to your, to your location, so. Okay, so yeah, once they've, they've caught you in your sights. There's... Very little that can be done. Okay, so enough. Let's head on inside and just, or we could just take the upper route with our new hammer. All right. When obstacles come our way, we'll smash it with a hammer and swing it around. Apparently. 
Okay, so yeah, this... Alright, so yeah. Try your best to avoid these little midgets. Oh, and Stingle generously lays out arrows about the direction of which, which way you're supposed to go. But there's apparently something else we can do while we're here. While we're on the ground level. Yeah, we've basically gotten all the treasures inside, so there's no reason, real reason to go for it. But there is something... What? Uh-oh. And the rats are back, and they're packing with bombs! Packing with some serious ammo this time. Dove! Okay, only one thing to do in this situation. Follow spells. That failed! That follow spells! Okay, so yeah, these rats don't want to play any business games with you. They just want you gone. Alright, so yeah, let's fatten up our wallet a little bit more. Okay. So yeah, it seems like only yesterday we were here when we just were flung into a wall and we lost our dang sword, so... But things are different this time. This is not the same timid child that came here. No, sir. That's right. You... You freaking pig monsters ain't seems ain't ready for this new and approved Scooty. Okay. Alright. Alright. Oh. Come on, Perry! Yes! Slice his rind! Make some bacon out of this fucking pig! Okay, come on, pound it! Alright, pound that! Okay, so... Okay, so the first time we were here, we didn't actually see this room coming up. That involved uh, schematics of the searchlights, where there's a boat. Okay, so yeah, it's... You can jump attack with that thing? So cool. Oh! And he can guard with that thing? And he just... Yeah, nothing can stop this tiny titan ever again. Not even a giant monster bird that tossed him into the ocean. That's right. It's not just... This isn't just for Ariel. This is about straight revenge for that monster bird for starting this whole thing in the first place. Revenge will be served. All right, so in here we go. Go outside through the upstairs door. Find out how to get up top from another room. Okay, so you might think that bubbles and rats are the only things to worry about, but you're wrong. There's an Octorok down there. Yeah, just splashing about in the water. Just minding his own business. Alright, sorry. So I gotta do this. Nothing personal for you, but you but then again, you are a part of Gammon's army, so. Speaking of Ganon's army, beware of this black hole, cause if you get caught by it, wow! Yeah, mighty purple hand just crawls up and tries to grab your head. Okay, so yeah, these are the schematics of the searchlights outside, which we need to take down again. Cause, uh, scaling the tower would be nearly impossible otherwise. Okay, so, so we're mainly down here for something that resides within the other room across the way, so there's no really, not really any reason to go back to the very end, because we've already gotten that treasure. The 
the treasure that was in, like, the, the bunk beds. Okay! Okay, let's enter through here. This is the main reason where he brought Tingle out in the first place. Okay, good. No, no guards to distract us this time. Hey. Mr. Fanny, here! You need to climb up! Yeah, what he's referring to is that giant cauldron. Alright, so yeah. Yeah, knock him back! Knock back these little imps. Just... And try to climb into that giant cauldron. That's right, this cauldron right here. Okay, so, when in doubt, give him bait. Alright. Just help yourself. Alright. Quickest way to an enemy's heart is through his stomach. You either feed him or you just rip him open and rip out his stomach. Or. Whatever. Okay, come on. Climb in there. Okay, so. We'll probably need to think of another way inside. Back! Back! Alright, this is. This is not at all what I had planned. I was thinking, uh, let me try something real quick. Let me see if a uh, well-timed backflip will do the trick. Never hurts to try. Oh. Okay. No, it doesn't seem to do as diddly. Doesn't seem to... Aha! Here we go! Into the pop. Hang on! Hang on! That's your cue to get... Ah, here I am, trapped with this little midget dwarf. Hang on! Do not see me in the giant cauldron! Unbelievable. Okay, so maybe we need to co go down from the top. Oh, no! No! Ah! Get back! All of you, go to hell! Go back from whence you came! Alright, come on, come Ah! Ah, they're everywhere! Just leave me alone! Ah! If I never hear that annoying sound from them, it'll be too soon! Alright, bon appetit! Just climb up while I'm distracted! Please, Tingle! You must show me the secret of the giant cauldron! Ah! Yeah. Oh yeah, well you think that's funny? Yeah! Get! Get off of my... Come on. Ah! I'm out of here! Tingle! You're supposed to reward me with reduced prices! What is going on? Forget it! Leave it! Jeez! An unresponsive little sh Pardon my French, but still, though. What was supposed to happen was if you step into that cauldron with the Tingle Tuner on, you get reduced prices for the potions. So you don't have to worry about paying so much for, for like, blue ting, red ting, green ting, etc. No! N O. Keep your freaking pitchforks to yourself. Okay, so... Okay, so on the second floor, we've got Spookoblin Guards. Okay, so... Bokoblin Guards. 
And there's still the chests if you missed them from earlier, so. Okay, so, uh. We'll just float daintily down into the cauldron this time. Okay, that should do something. Hopefully. Okay, come on, Tingle. This time you better do something about it. Ooh, it's the Ram Magic Pot! You can easily make tea with the leftover broth! You got the magic leftover broth! The price of ting has dropped! You're one lucky customer! Okay, so yeah, main reason we brought out Tingle in the first place. There's no Tingle statue here, so... so yeah, that was the main reason we just put up with these little shits for so long. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? I'll just gladly take your skull necklace while you're not looking! <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. Tonight I dine on Moblin Bacon! Okay, so... Scooty's turn to wield the spear. Okay, so we're maxed out at 1,000 rupees. Perfect. Worst, worst case, if worst case scenario, we can always bribe Ganon with a with a thousand rupees. Not really sure what he would want with money, though. All right, so yes, these rats ain't ain't into do ain't, ain't into pay, ain't into business anymore. They're just they just want to bomb the shit out of you. Excuse me, I have no idea why I have such a uh, sailor mouth this episode. It just, it just really pumped, honestly. Just, we're finally here after all this time. Okay, so, so enough with the downstairs. So, spend enough time down here. Okay, so, so what does that indicate? Sir, Ariel is here. Okay, so yeah, those arrows obviously point to Ariel. If you didn't really have that good of a memory to remember the passage back there. Oh. From hell's heart, I smash at thee! Ah! <laughs> Man, this is ridiculous. Okay, something cool I forgot to... to get. Ah! <laughs> no! So yeah, I, I guess even... I guess even those rats are just... Sick of your... Sick of your progress by now for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Get ourselves a trio of trouble here. Yeah, I'll just take that. I won't bother you. That's basically all I wanted from you. Okay, so the moblins don't put you in the slammer. But... Yeah, we've read that already. But, go near these black holes and those hands drag you in! Those otherworldly hands... The Floor Masters... WILL put you in prison! Okay, so... Normally, we get, we always have our crawl space. But now that we've got a bow and arrow... There's a little switch! Uh, switch! Time's a charm. Switch! Up there. Okay, so we just fire it through the bars. Bingo! Instant freedom! Oh, 
Okay, so yeah. 1,000 rupees. Glorious. With this fairy at your side, you can float through the air without a rope. Say, how old is Nico? Remember? The guy who first taught you about ropes? Well, I don't know, but if you're curious enough, I'd say probably around Scooty's age. Maybe even a bit older. Alright, so. So, yes, you can, uh. So, yeah, for quick, easy access up to the second floor, you can get captured by a floor master and wind up on the second floor. It was basically the. what happened the first time around. Okay, let's. Let's make like old times and take out the searchlights. Again. So yeah, they even armed the walls with cannons. They're dead serious about keeping any intruders out this time. But you ain't gonna keep this intruder out. No, sir. He's fought long, he's fought hard, he's fought many monsters across the Great Sea, all just for his sister. He will bring Ariel home safe and sound. You know, that's another aspect about this game which makes me love it more than Ocarina of Time, in, in my opinion, is the brother-sister bonds between Link and Ariel. I... It's it's so wholesome, they're so close, and... And personally, I relate to it so much because I have a sister myself, but in this... But in my personal case, I'm the younger brother and she's the older sister. And we're both adults in our 30s. But if she was ever captured by a monster bird or something else happened to her, I would fight hell or high water. Fight a thousand monsters. And... And topple over an entire fortress just to bring her home safely. To rescue her. And I know that she would do the same thing for me. All sentiments aside, let's continue. Okay. Get up! Oh, shoot! I forgot the wind was facing the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so let's let's try that again. Okay, so so yeah, like with earlier said, that uh, the team prices have decreased. So yeah, you can get them for half price. Okay, so green team once again. Let's. Bring on the green! We need more greens than I that, fairy boy! I don't want to hear about that stinking rash, okay? Alright, shortcut time. Make sure the wind is facing that direction, which Scooty is facing. All right. Okay, so uh, I believe that uh, perfect opportunity would uh, for a stopping point would be after we uh, take out all the searchlights. Okay. Let's get this. All right. Climbing up to the top, where we need to go. All right, another unlucky contestant to have their items swiped from them and to meet their maker in hell. If their maker wasn't hell, I'm pretty sure Ganon is pretty much uh, their maker. Okay, and that leaves one. Okay, so I think we can. All right, I think we can do it with one more redirection of the wind. We should be there. Okay. Okay, so it's a little off, but uh, 
I think we can still make it. Okay. All right, so. Okay, so we could have just, uh, saved ourselves a little bit of magic by just going on ground level, but whatever. All right, another, another joy pendant for Miss Marie. She will be pleased. All right, and with that, all three searchlights are down again. They're harmlessly pointing up into the sky. All right. So we've down the searchlights again, and our goal is set. To retrace our steps and follow the path back to the top of the tower. All right. Ariel, we're coming for you. Just, say, just sit tight for a little while longer. All right. That'll conclude this part. We will continue our assault on the Forsaken Fortress in the next part. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and if you will leave a comment and or like, that would be most appreciated. Until next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, this is Toon Gamer 23 signing out. And honestly, with all the monsters gone, this place almost seems peaceful. I mean... It's still got that darkness vibe, and it's eternal night here, but, uh... It's not really... I mean, if you just listen to that silent sea breeze... And with the wind whistling through your hair, it's not really all that bad. But... It's still giving off that evil aura. And it will not... And we must destroy it once and for all.